Hey guys, so today I'm filming my 2015 favorites video and like every year, of course everyone's gonna say the typical thing like this year went by so quickly and it's so true. This year did really go by quicker than other years that I remember and basically this video is just gonna have a bunch of my favorites including beauty stuff and lifestyle favorites just all combined into one video. I was thinking of doing two separate videos but then I figured I don't think I have quite enough to make two separate videos, so I'm just going to put it all in one and you'll just get to see what I love for the year of 2015. So some of these products I also didn't just like discover in 2015, I may have discovered them ahead of time or beforehand and you know just really started to use them a lot this year or rediscovered a certain product. So yeah, let's get started with the video. So my first favorite of the year, I'm going to go and like categories for makeup, so let's start with face, um, is a concealer, and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, and it looks like this. It's um, an awesome full coverage concealer. I use it for under my eyes and on blemishes. Um, it doesn't crease, which is great, because I know a lot of concealers do tend to crease on me, so this is just an amazing one. It is kind of pricey, but it is worth every penny, I promise you. That is why it is in my 2015 favorites video. So my next favorite for the year has to be, obviously, a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and obviously it's going to be Jaclyn Hill's product, because I'm obsessed with her videos, and she just created such a good product. It's in the color Champagne Pop. Talked about this in a favorites video before. Um, and I probably talked about that concealer before and a bunch of these things, but I'm now including it in my yearly favorites, which is a very special thing. So this is what it looks like. It's like a golden-y champagne mixed highlight. Beautiful, stunning. I'm actually not wearing it today, surprisingly. I'm wearing my NARS highlighter, but again, it is kind of pricey, but it's definitely worth the investment. How often do you go through highlighters? I would assume not that often. I mean, you could use this every day and it'd probably last you years, no joke, because you're just putting the tiniest bit on your brush and you're putting it on the high points of your face and it just looks the bomb. This is the winner for highlighters of 2015. So the next product is a blush and this is a blush I discovered more in the fall time of this year. So obviously a lot of you know that one of my favorite blushes is the Milani Luminoso, which is like a corally, bronzy, beige kind of colored blush, but I recently, well not recently, this was more in the fall time, I used it every single day. Um, I got this last year, but I only started really using it in the fall time this year, and it's the MAC Blush in Plum Foolery, and it looks like this. It's just, okay, camera's not even doing it justice. It's a beautiful, like, plumish, dark rose color to wear on your cheeks, and it goes with so many different makeup looks, especially for, like, you know, more fall appropriate look. I just love this blush. It is so nice and this is in the pro pants so you can put it in like your Z palettes or your MAC palettes as opposed to having like the big chunky kind of package. So this is the winner for blushes of 2015. So moving on to favorites for the eyes. Favorite eyeshadow was very difficult for me to pick because I'm always changing up my eyeshadow look. I'm never really wearing the same look. I mean, there are some go-to looks that I go between when I like get bored of certain colors and stuff, but one shadow that will always remain like a staple in my life even when I run out, and I still have not run out of this, and I bought this like years ago, and it's the MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study, and it's just a cream base, and it's a champagne color. You can see the bottom of the container, the glass container here. Um, I finally hit bottom and it's like so hard to do that because it's a cream product and there's so much in here and it just has it lasted me so long. Again, it's not the cheapest, but you know, it's not the most expensive. So you just buy it at the MAC cosmetics store or the MAC counter and it's just such a great base. You can wear this underneath your eyeshadows. You can just wear it alone, which is what I did a lot when I was like younger and didn't wear like a ton of eye makeup at the time. But this is just such a nice staple. Like, oh, I love MAC Paint Pots and this one's by far my favorite. It's been my favorite for years, but this year especially, obviously it hit bottom. So that's a good sign. So this is like the winner for eyeshadows for 2015 in my makeup collection. So the next product is an eyeliner and it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner in Trooper which is just the black color and it's just a staple liquid liner. I can't really say too much about it. Um, it's really easy to control and create a wing and it lasts quite a long time. It doesn't dry out super fast which is awesome because I mean you're paying kind of a lot for it. So you know, having that lasting power is awesome. So that would have to be the winner for eyeliner for the year. My favorite brow product would by far be my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz 
pencil. This is in the shade medium brown. I can't even tell you how many brow pencils I've been through with this brand. It's just so great. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every day. Um, I'm gonna start looking for a new one just because I kind of want to experiment with different ones, but I feel like I'm just gonna end up making my way back to this one because it just such an easy product to work with and it matches my eyebrow color pretty close and then it also has a spoolie on the end so you can easily just comb out your lash lashes oh my goodness eyebrow hairs and it just blends so nicely together so that would be my favorite eyebrow product for the year of 2015. so now moving on to favorite lip products of the year i picked a neutral option and a more like vibrant option because you know i'm always going in between neutral and like more of a statement bold lip um, if it was my choice, I'd be wearing bold lips all the time, but I mean, there's like a time and place for that, so at least for the events I wear it too. So the more neutral option, I would say, would be my MAC Whirl Lip Liner, which is just a nude mauve brownish color, and I just line my lips with this, and then I fill them in, and then I top it off with my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy, which is just like a brownish, darker nude, and it's a matte finish. So this just looks so nice together. I never would have pictured myself in a million years when I was little. I thought brown lipstick was disgusting. It looks so gross on people. But you know, now seeing it, I see it in a totally different light. And I just, I feel like you can create so much, so many more makeup looks around, like based around this lip product or duo. So I've been loving that for the year of 2015. So my favorite vibrant or bold kind of lip for the year would definitely have to be the one I'm wearing now. And it's the NARS Velvet Lip Pencil, Matte Lip Pencil, in the shade Cruella. And this is how it looks. It's just like a chubby little stick that you sharpen when, you know, it kind of gets dull. Um, it's a cooler toned red lip, but this also comes with the birthday gift for the year 2015. So that was another awesome thing Sephora did. Their birthday gifts are have been really good the past couple years, but this one has by far been my favorite. And basically it's just like a cooler toned matte red lip and it is just my go-to red lip. Like if I have to pick up a red lipstick, I no longer really reach for my MAC red lipstick. I reach for my Cruella lip pencil. So my camera just died, so I apologize for that because it's probably gonna be an awkward cut now. But like I was saying, this is my favorite matte red lip for the year and yeah, let's move on to the next category. So my favorite fragrance for the year of 2015, I don't actually have here physically to show you because I did finish the bottle, hence it was my favorite of the year, um, which was the Victor and Ralph um, Flower Bomb Perfume, and it just smells so good and girly. If you were to think of like a young woman, like, I don't know how to describe this scent, it just... It's such a nice flowery, feminine scent. I suck at describing scents, but if I remember, I will write the notes across the screen. But it is just such a beautiful, fresh, girly scent that does last a long time. It's quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So sticking with favorite scents of the year, I'm going to show you a candle. And my favorite candle that I've been burning for the year is Toffee Crunch by Bath & Body Works. And I don't even know if they still carry this candle. And I think you're it's like a part of their like winter line or fall line, but I don't even care. I burn this all year round. I think it's a great summer scent as well because it just reminds me of like cookies and junk food and like sitting by campfires. Basically just smells like toffee and caramel like mixed together with like a smoky like undertone. Ugh, I love it. I've burned through almost all of it and I'm sad because I don't think I can buy it anymore. Yeah, it says holiday tradition, so it's definitely part of their holiday line. My favorite clothing item for the year is actually more of like an accessory, and it's this like plaid grayish black um, scarf from Aldo, and it's kind of like a blanket scarf. It's quite like thick and big and bulky, but I love it. It is so nice and warm. I wear it all the time, whether it's like as a scarf or a shawl, or literally I use it as a blanket on some days because it's freaking winter in Canada is freezing. So I just love this scarf. I just can't get enough, like, love out of it. Like, I just wear it all the time. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite, like, accessory for the year. My favorite bag of the year would definitely have to be my Longchamp La Pliege bag, and it's just a black tote with the brown straps. And I'm, there's currently nothing in this bag, so it's really awkward. It has not a lot of shape. But it is just such a practical bag. You can just throw anything in it. You know, you can be used, you know, it can be used as an overnight bag or as a purse or, you know, it's really good at being, like, water resistant as well. Like, the material is just so nice. And, you know, it doesn't really, like, stain or anything. Like, it's just such a good, durable bag. So that's definitely my favorite bag for the month of... 
I keep saying the month of, the year of 2015. My favorite shoe favorites, I'm not gonna actually hold up to the camera to show you because they're quite dirty and not looking the freshest, but um, they're not even really like fashion favorites, they're more of like comfort shoes. Um, and it's my Uggs, my black Uggs, I wear those all the time. I wear a uniform at my school if you didn't already know, and you have to wear black shoes with the uniform, preferably dress shoes, but I don't do that. I just wear my comfortable shoes, which are my black Uggs, and then my black moccasins are so cozy and soft. They're like slippers, wearing them to school. It's like you roll out of bed, put on your uniform, put on your moccasins. So I'll insert some pictures here, but they're just such practical, comfy shoes that like every teenager needs in their life. So that is my favorite for the year of 2015. Okay, so my favorite YouTuber of the year, which I didn't think I was going to include this category, which is weird because you would think I would because, you know, YouTube videos, I'm making YouTube videos. But um, I do have a favorite of the year and I discovered, okay, so I'm just going to say the name first. So Aspen Ovard, I've been watching since she basically started YouTube with her beauty channel, but her and her husband Parker um, have a vlog channel together and I never really watched their videos like I was subscribed. I would see their videos in my subscription box but not really watch them but like recently I've just like been binge watching them just like as you would watch like a Netflix series. That was me with Parker and Aspen's videos. So I would definitely say they're like my favorite YouTuber people favorites of the year um, just because they're so like entertaining, fun and cute young generation people. I don't know. I just, I like their videos. They're cute. My favorite music of the year would have to be a huge like mixture of music. I can't think far enough back to remember what artists I kind of discovered and etc. But obviously Code Line, which I discovered before this year, but I really started like intensely listening to them when I went to their concert last April. So their whole, you know, sound lyrics are great and I love them. And then Chain Smokers, I went to that rave and I just fell in love with their like mixes that they made. They're great. And then obviously Adele, she came out with her album towards the end of this year and holy Jesus, it is such a good album. Um I think she like takes the top of that cake for like the whole year. Her her songs are pretty incredible. My favorite TV show of the year would have to be Game of Thrones. Um, I like wasn't on track with the show, like I kind of stopped watching it and then I put myself back on track and finished the rest of the season. And it is so good. I don't know why I stopped watching it. I think it was like a time management thing, like I just didn't have time. But when I did have time, I just caught up on all of them. And I'm so glad I did, like it is such a good show. Anyway, so Game of Thrones would definitely be my favorite TV show of the year. And then my favorite book of the year would have to be Water for Elephants. And it is just such a good book. I love the characters. I love how it's written. I love the author. Just love the book all around. Um, there's also an, a movie, so if you're not into reading or you just want to watch the movie, watch it. It is so good. So that is my favorite book. And then I didn't really put down a favorite food for the year because, I mean, nothing's really changed. I haven't really tried anything, like, quote, new. Um, I kind of just stick with the same old stuff. I guess if, if I had to say a favorite food item for the year, I'd probably say, like, hummus because I've been eating a lot of hummus. My favorite movies of the year, um, I couldn't think... Of, again how far back I went but I want to say I picked two so Room which I talked about I think it was my September favorites or October favorites I forget but it was such a good movie I will link the trailer in the description box it really made me cry it didn't know if it was supposed to but it did and then my second favorite is Sisters which I recently saw with my sister and it was hilarious like I watched it I didn't watch the trailer I, I walked into the theater not knowing anything about the movie which is so not like me I usually watch the trailer before I go watch the movie to see if I'm gonna like it and you know it was just like the characters were like older adults and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to relate like this is not really my style of movie but the jokes were just like endless and I was laughing so hard my sister was laughing so hard and I was like you know this is actually a really good film so I will link that trailer in the description box as well so my favorite events of the year would have to be like raves I went to my first rave um I want to say March of 2015 March or April-ish and it was um, Steve Aoki and that was just a phenomenal rave. I don't think anything will ever really be able to top that. Um, second place would have to be Chainsmokers so those two raves just kind of go hand in hand. Those were really good events, um, concerts, 
to experience and I just loved every minute of it. So the last thing that was my favorite of the year would definitely have to be the job I had in the summer of 2015 and it was being a camp counselor and I loved it. I loved working with all these new people that you know, were just like so different from me. It was so cool to meet so many new people and interact with them on an everyday basis because it was a full-time job being a camp counselor in the summer. And then, you know, being with kids, which I absolutely love, and kind of teaching them and playing camp games and songs and just swimming. I just loved it. It was a really, it was a good summer. So that was also a really like important highlight of my 2015 year. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know down below what was your highlight of 2015. It was definitely an awesome year for me. I mean, obviously there's ups and downs in every year, but it was overall a very, very good year. So I will see you guys in my next video, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.